Hey everybody, it's your old pal Brian Hunt, and welcome to another episode of 60 Seconds of Risk. And today I'm going to cover a topic that a lot of people are talking about these days, and quite honestly have a little fear about it, and that's artificial intelligence. And so to help drive that conversation, I wanted to cover a book I read recently called The Coming Wave. Now, The Coming Wave was written by Mr. Mustafa Suleiman. In case you don't know anything about him, he is the co-founder of DeepMind and Reflection AI. So when it comes to AI and artificial intelligence, uh, quantum engineering, uh, he kind of knows a lot what he's talking about. And the court, I mean, I found this book extremely informative because artificial intelligence is, everybody's talking about it, concerned about it, maybe excited about it, but are also thinking about, is this gonna take my job away? Is it gonna make my job irrelevant? And I'll be honest, uh, quite honestly, maybe. Uh, if you think about the history of uh, evolution and you think about the technological innovations, once technology comes out of the bottle, it never goes back in. So whether it be the, uh, the invention of the steam engine, uh, the automated uh, uh, manufacturing components that you used to see, like on the Ford assembly line, things became irrelevant. When the combustible engine came along, of course a buggy became irrelevant. Uh, when Microsoft developed Excel spreadsheets, it made a lot of jobs irrelevant, but it also made things more efficient. And as a result, I think that's the underlying premise here about artificial intelligence, that yes, it will take jobs away, but it also thinks it makes jobs more efficient and create more opportunities and better use of capital. Uh, my big takeaway from this is that thinking about my line of work, I am convinced that, especially in the line of insurance and finance, well, especially insurance, it's a very antiquated, uh, old, not say old boy, but old way of doing things. It's not nearly as efficient as it should be, and it's ripe for disruption by uh, artificial intelligence and technology. So you can easily conceive of the time where insurance brokerage, insurance quotes, underwriting can easily be compressed and updated quickly, have quotes come out faster, have a, uh, claims and policy to handle faster as a result of uh, artificial intelligence. And as a result, that might take jobs away. But the flip side, it might innovate new jobs. And the one thing I try to take away from this is that, like any technology, you either get run over by it, or you can try to adapt to it and use it and be the guy who's not run over it and use it to your advantage. Specifically in my sort of daily work, I use AI quite regularly with respects to helping me write uh, newsletters or come up with uh, columns because I've always found it it's easier to edit something than to write something. And so for me, coming up with an idea, asking AI to help write the column, can spit it out within minutes, which might take me the better part of a weekend. Now, I just can't take an AI and just take that newsletter and put it out there because it's going to look clunky and may not sound like you. That allows me to sort of come up with a skeleton which I can edit and move forward with. It saves me a lot of time. It's a lot more efficient. Now, I think that's the component here about AI as far as it's going to make things more efficient. But there is a like any tool, there's a dark side to this, uh, especially when you think about uh, deep fakes as far as generation of uh, fake videos or images, and especially in this coming election, you're gonna probably see a ton of it. Don't be surprised if you start to see the Russians and Chinese try to influence the election by using deep fakes. It's kind of scary. And you take into account in the book here, the adoption of quantum engineering, quantum computing, put that together with AI, it's gonna make any and all sort of security we have now irrelevant. That's kind of the scary component. And then also here, there's, he gets into the author, gets into a section talking about how AI using with actually generation of synthetic biology, which is kind of crazy, could come up with pathogens. Someone could actually generate pathogens in their garage using technology that's available. And that's pretty scary. You think the pandemic was a big thing with COVID. You don't think we've seen anything yet if this really got out of, out of control. So the author talks about what needs to be done. A lot of it needs to be some regulations, some treaties, at the global stage to figure out how AI is going to develop, at least try to keep it in you know, the guardrails, keep it in the lane, because uh, it's easily conceivable how AI can get really crazy real quick and make things a lot more uh, dangerous for us. Again, it's a double-edged sword, and once it comes out of the bottle, it ain't going back in. So I think it behooves everybody to understand where AI is, where it's going, and how you could leverage it for your personal benefit. Um, and don't be scared of it, but I do think like any technology, you either gotta learn it and adapt to it and use it to your benefit, or you become irrelevant as a result. Like all things, guys, I hope you found this beneficial. If there's a certain topic or individual you'd like to have on this video, please post a note on LinkedIn. You can also subscribe to these videos another video on my YouTube channel, and you can find these links on the website, formerly known as Twitter, Facebook, and Substack. Until next time, guys.